Hi, this is Ben from Lights and Gear. I have a couple of flashlights here that I want to do a quick comparison on. First of all, we have this rather popular model, which you see a lot on the internet. This is the Ultrafire. It's the 502B. It takes one 18650 rechargeable lithium battery. It has a uh, T X uh, let's see, um, an XML T6 LED and it uh, has a very nice clean beam it uh, it uh, it's a very well I'll show you in a minute I'll show you in a couple of minutes here I mean it's uh, it's a nice clean beam not a lot of spill and uh, we'll see how it compares with the other light here in a few moments as I was saying it takes uh, one one eight six five oh rechargeable battery now there's no documentation that comes uh, for the most part when you buy these lights so it's hard to know exactly I mean you kinda you kinda have to know or kinda wing what you're doing and try to try to figure it out uh, yourself you know how to how to use it and the standard and standard practices and so forth but as far as the voltages go I do not think it offers more than or operates more than on about four volts so the 18650 the 3.7 is about the most amount of uh, battery you can put in this most standard lights like this and uh, well this one for instance will take two of the disposable CR123's or their rechargeable cousin the 16340 uh, but that'll be either six volts or higher if you do that and I don't think this light will accept that as I say I do not think it will because um, well, I just don't think it will. So anyway, uh, it's never advertised at taking more than a 18650. So anyway, just to be on the safe side, 3.7 volts is about the top is about the top power you'll be able to put in this light. Now, some of the um, advertisements and the merchants say that it's 900 lumens. It's not. It's it's not 900 lumens. A T6 will give you about that much, but. Um, we will compare it with the other one and you'll see in a moment. Anyway, it has high, medium, low, and a uh, strobe and SOS mode. So it does the pretty standard things for any flashlight you'd want. Okay, let's uh, dull a light or two here. And we'll show you what it can do. I'll tell you one thing, it doesn't have a memory. So uh, it will not remember the mode you were in before when you switch it off like uh, a lot of the other lights and the other one here will it does not remember what mode it was in so uh, that's a that can be a problem for some people because you have to cycle through all the modes in order to get to the one you were before now when I turn it on here it appears to be in high I will just tap the tail clap and it goes down to medium and then it goes down to low and then it goes to strobe and then it goes to SOS so there are your basic modes okay wait a minute come back come back alright there we are in high mode again and as I say, there's medium, whoops, uh, let me just do this again, there's medium and there's low. And there really, there really isn't a lot of difference between the modes, certainly between, you know, high, medium and low. Sometimes you get a, a very sharp cutoff with these lights, this particular one you don't. So, um, and as I say, the high on here, it's certainly not 900 lumens. Let me just uh, do the comparison here with the other light, as soon as I can steady off the camera. There we go. Now, the other one here is the Through Night. Let me get this light back on here. This one is the Through Night T... Uh, I'm sorry, it's the Through Night uh, T12, TN12, exactly. The Through Night TN12. And uh, this will take the 18650 as well as the other batteries I spoke of, the rechargeable and the disposable small ones and the nice thing about this light is that it has the little switch here to change modes with on the side plus the uh, tail cap switch of course okay let's go back and let's turn on the through night and this is low at the moment but it also has a very low mode okay so this is low if we can get the camera to focus a bit there uh, there's medium and there's high and this is about 800 lumens right here okay this is around 800 so as I was saying before the high on the uh, 502B there's the high on the 502B and there's the high on the TN12 you might not notice a whole lot of difference here on the camera the TN12 the um, TN12 yes has a bigger and wider spill beam 
and it's also very nice, very clean. It has more of a, a has more of a warm, a warm to cool white look about it, whereas the other beam is has, looks more blue. So it's it's much it's a much cooler cooler beam, I suppose you could say, um, cool in the sense of being a cool temperature. Um, but anyway, it is a, a much more dynamic. Uh, spotlight type of beam but as you can see that's the high there and that's the high on this one so this one does not look as bright it says it's over 900 lumens but this is 800 on this mode so as I say I do not think that this is uh, at all 900 because this is 8 and as I said before and actually yeah with the TN12 what you can do is you can go into a strobe at the push of the button in any mode you're in and just push it again and it goes back to where you were uh, you certainly can't do that with the 502B. The other thing the TN12 has is the ultra, ultra low mode. There you go, there's the ultra low mode. And uh, that's only a couple of lumens. You don't get that on the 502B either. So anyway, here's your regular low on the uh, TN12. And uh, Let's find the low on the 502B. There it is. There's the low on 502B, and there's the low on the TN12. And the TN12, or rather the 502B, I'm terribly sorry, also tends to get a little bit hot as you leave it on for a couple of minutes. Already this head is getting quite warm. Um, doesn't have quite the heat dispersion that uh, some of these other lights do. This one's, not, this one's cool to the touch. It's not getting warm at all. Uh, so anyway, there you have the basic comparison between the two lights, and uh, TN12 is a very nice light, and incidentally, it is not as uh, pricey as some of the other lights in its class are. It tends to be a little bit cheaper, and uh, so anyway, there's the uh, uh, there's the medium again on the uh, 502B, and there's medium on the TN12. Anyway, those are your two lights. If you'd like to go to lightsandgear.com, you will see a whole lot of other lights, flashlights, batteries, chargers. You can see links to both these flashlights. Uh, you can read about them. You can do all kinds of things with those at lightsandgear.com. The link is below. Ooh, look at that. It's Hollywood. Woo hoo hoo. All the lights of Broadway, lights of Hollywood. Anyway, go to lightsandgear.com. You can see all that great stuff. And uh, thanks for looking, and have yourself a wonderful day. Bye-bye.